crowd behind him. Yoshiro Sato from Japan with our, everyone here, I feel, has got part of the heart for him too. This is going to be interesting. Well, Yoshiro wasted no time there. Armin started a little bit slow, but I'm sure that won't be the case as the fight progresses. Very tall, lean Yoshiro. And I can say I had a little photograph early with Armin and Pichotin. They're not small for the height. Well, Yoshiro, probably six foot plus. Heavy shots from both fighters. Into the clinch. And the referee will stop them. Our referee, Claudio, in charge of this fight. Oh, nice overhand right there from Arman. But Yashiro quite happy to pummel away with those low kicks, using his reach. Nice right hand from Yashiro. Big right hand in return from Arman. Stiff jab from Arman. Nice right hand. It's Yashiro, he's forging forwards. Armin's happy to counter, but with some good counters, I might add. Down to the floor. So round one of three by three minute rounds with one minute interval. In the second minute of the third minute of this opening round. All eyes on this young gentleman. All men of Petrosian. But as I said, Yashiro Sato from Japan. Heartfelt with the recent earthquake there in Japan. They're closing stages of this opening round. Both fighters having good success with knee, with punch and kick. The front kick from Armel. Into the clinch. <laughs> Left up, retired with a low kick from Yashiro. Closing seconds now, good front kick by Armin. Attempt to the over on right, but just nullified by Yashiro. End of the first round. Well, both fighters have been measured. Both fighters having a taste of each other's strengths and weaknesses. This is where they go into the corner. They will get one minute to the cornerman to give them some more, not just water and rest, but some information on how to defeat their opponent. Here we just see a little bit of the action from that first round. Nice stiff jab there from Armen. Low kick coming in there from Yashiro. Good front kick. I said 10th if you've just joined us here at the Palace Sharp in Milan. 10,000 people here plus 60 countries live for Fight Code Octagon. Your promoter has done an amazing job. Carlo Di Blasi should be very proud. The manager also of this fighter here, Armand Petrosian, now the younger brother of Giorgio, who will be seen a bit later on. So seconds out for this second of three by three minute rounds. Fight called rules. Great. Into the middle of the ring, into the... That's one thing they don't allow. It is in Muay Thai, because these fighters switching up between rules. No. Nice right hand. Well, he used to fight in Muay Thai, which is five threes. He used to more clinch knee and catch the leg. So it's different scoring this, this is fight code. And this is what counts here tonight, not the Muay Thai scoring. Ooh, beautiful, right underneath uh, the Shiro near and near the 360. 
Avanti shouts it from the Italian corner, which has gone forward. Good front kick from Armin. Catching the judge's eye on the crowd's support. And over and on right. But Yoshiro is happy to storm forward. That Bushido in him just keeps him coming forward non-stop, relentlessly. Armin is happy to counter-attack, but scoring effectively. Nice left hook from Armin. Armin struggling a little bit with Yashiro's range. I just thought he, he is fine his range, but only on the counter. Yashiro's very, very tall. And it's taken him at, 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 at least one and a half rounds to take. You can see that he's just slightly out of range with those punches. But you can imagine, you know, that this guy's measuring well over six foot. Two meters something. In height. And our man, no small, he's not small in stature himself. And he needs to break this guy down, he needs to go, pass down to the legs and bring the guy down, go to the body. But it's easy said for me, sat in the commentary box, Armand's in there with this guy, and Yashiro has got a very formidable opponent in front of him. I'm in Petrosian. In the red and Yashiro Sato in the blue from Japan. Well, fighters having a very, pretty much an equal record here. One, Yashiro with 60, having his 61st, and Armin with 59, having his 60th. So you couldn't get much better than that. as a, a matchmaker putting together the actual fight record. And there we have it. End of round two, and again, a difficult job, I feel, for the judges. I just feel that a lot of the attacking coming forward is from Yashiro. Amen is doing some good counter-attacking, but struggling a little bit with the distance. Well, it depends how the judges are seeing this. Is it going to be one of those fights that can go? You can just see that beautiful takedown low kick there. You can see where he's losing a bit of confidence. And that's, I feel, is where his strength sign he needs to do with a taller fighter. You need to bring the taller man down. I'll stay close with them. Stand at range and they will pick you off. See the long straight punches there and the, the kick coming in from Yoshiro. That's his strength. That's how it works. That's how the game is played. So here we go, third and possibly final round. Remember the fight code. You can go four rounds if there is a draw. Ooh. Nice right hand as he was going back. I'm just looking at the referee, making sure they have help. You're not allowed to hold the leg in fight code. That's a let go of the leg and then strike. Different than Muay Thai. Nice low kick there. Into the clinch, remember, it's a five-second rule. They're allowed to work for five seconds as long as they're active in the clinch. You can knee the body, knee the legs, and knee to the head. Simultaneous exchange of the hook, pump, left hooks from both fighters. So this is the third round. Coming up to the halfway mark of the three minutes. Well, I feel it's been a pretty close fight. I only give a unofficial score card. My name is Sandy Holt. I am the commentator only for this great fight action. The judges, three judges ringside, will be scoring this. Well, moving into the final minute now. This Three round fight called action fight. Armin Petrosian in the red. Yashiro Sato representing Japan in the blue. Fighters back into the clinch. Nice 
Nice knee from Yashiro to the midsection. Back into the clinch. Nothing really effective scoring here. Effective anything, I've got to say, and I say this respectfully, both fighters have not landed anything too clean in this fight. Obviously, both giving each other a lot of respect, having equal re fight records. Both coming in here, impressive. Background in the field and the fight game. Oh, yes, good score, good front kick from Armin there. Closing stages, trying to impress the judges in case it goes another round. Nice body kick, a good, oh, good left up from Yashiro. Armin's head snaps back, but he's still there. Well, fighters feeling the pace now. Oh, nice over on right again. Armin's been looking for that all fight. He's been struggled to find the distance with the, just the basic height of Yashiro, such a tall, rangy fighter. And the crowd behind me, screaming, shouting, Armin, urging him on. But it has been a slippery customer, Yashiro, making it very difficult for Armin. Right, right on the bell, catches him. Right. Now, Yashiro raised his hands, he thinks he's got this. Is this going to go to a draw? This could be another round. Let's see what the judges have got to say. Let's watch a little bit of this action from the third round. Nice little turn takedown there. Good body knee, knees to the leg from Petrosian. Premia l'incontro. Il direttore commerciale Kawasaki. Dr. Vicarelli. So while the judges are making their minds up, this is tender moments for when they know it's a close fight. This is when the moment the fighters, every second feels like a minute. And I'm sure every minute would feel like an hour, but Yoshiro has got his hands up. Japan are raising their hands, they feel they've got this. I personally think it's a draw, but... Let's see what the officials score this. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The winner, win by points from the red corner, Armin Petrosian. Well, there's a mixed crowd here. The hometown are not all cheering. So I do feel, and Japan does, shakes his head in disbelief. I do feel that fight should have been a draw. Japan thought they won it. I think another round would have settled it. I personally think, I can say the judges are just doing the job, they see what they see. But just